Twin Flames, this will be a collective energy update for you. I hope you all are doing amazing. This will be general and it will not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This will also not be for any specific zodiac signs, but if I do see them come out, I will mention them. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below, or you can get um, more find more information about joining my channel in the description box. You can also find information about private readings there. And don't forget to um, like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. Mm. So from what I'm all, they're already gathering, somebody could be coming out of the dark night of the soul. Let's see. So we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. What a catch here. Somebody may want to wife you or make you their husband okay seven of pentacles yeah it's kind of looking like that let's see somebody could also be like re-evaluating re the, their views or opinions on something um yeah empress taurus energy again so definitely um you could be a taurus or dealing with a taurus clarify the hair font king of Pen king of swords i was gonna say the king of pentacles the king of swords gemini libra aquarius energy somebody has got gained some type of mental clarity about either a belief or about like the fact that they like that they want somebody has maybe um come to terms with the fact that there's a spiritual connection going on between the two of you they may not know about twin flames and soulmates and all that stuff but they do know that there is something very deep about your connection um Somebody could also have made a decision about commitment, committing to you. Clarify what a catch. We have Ace of Cups. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. Or somebody has a lot of love for you and they don't want to lose you. They want to have a new beginning with you. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, energy. We're going to get more clarity on that in a second. Clarify the Empress. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's somebody here like this person. If this is you, this Empress, this Nine of Pentacles, this what a catch. This person feels like you are the entire package. Like you, you're independent. Like they just feel like you are, you have everything like that they want in a person. You have your money together, like just everything. Beautiful, handsome. You can always flip and reverse the roles as needed. Remember that. What is the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands? Money focus. See, I think that they are starting to rethink something here. Because, yeah, what about the Queen of Wands? Who's the Queen of Wands? The Three of Cups. So there's another person in the mix. Of course there is. This Queen of Wands could be somebody else that they were dealing with. And I think that they're starting to kind of like, they could have been investing in this person. Or they are starting to reevaluate or rethink something when it comes to, like, rethink things when it comes to dealing with this person or investing in this person. I feel like either there's something to do with money between them and this person. They could have been choosing money over love, but now they're wanting to choose love over money or like just choose love. Um, but I do think that there was a, th a third party here. Yeah, look at this sexual encounter, a sexual bond, lustful intent. So they had a strict like this was more they didn't love this person. It was more of like a sexual connection between the two of them. Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Oof. They, they didn't been through it with this person. Yeah, they didn't been through it with this person. Why? What's happening here? The Ten of Cups. What about the Ten of Cups? The Emperor. There's the. Now we have the Divine Feminine and the Divine Divine Masculine out here. What about the Ten of Cups and the Emperor? The Ace of Swords and the Sun. Something has come to light or has become clear. What is that? That somebody needs to change. Somebody is accepting the fact that they need to make some changes. They got to leave some things behind and to be able to heal and to grow. They're and to have this Ten of Cups, to have this happiness that they desire. They're going to have to, you know, leave something or, yeah, Queen of Swords. They're going to have to, what are the Queen of Swords? Yeah, they're walking away from somebody. For somebody, it's a marriage. Because we do have the, yeah, with the Hierophant and the King of Swords. And then we have the Queen of Swords here. And we have the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, they could be married for some of you. Or them and this person, just they both really don't love each other. Like, there's not, like, deep emotions between the two of them. Like... They're both actually very, 
Hmm. You know, walking away, living the leaving the past behind, seeking deeper meaning. So now what? Divine timing. The devil. What about the devil? Capricorn energy and unawakened. This person had some, um, they had to go through an awakening and they had to overcome some type of addictions or toxicity, um, obsessions, destructive habits. Mm -hmm. They weren't seeing the connection or, uh, for what it was. And I think that they really weren't, weren't understanding what they were feeling for you at, at, at the time. They've been slowly making progress and changing those things, overcoming those things. I did see when I was shuffling, um, overcoming obstacles or whatever that card was. So they are overcoming some type of obstacles. Yeah, they were confused. Well, Summon of Cups, Six of Swords. If they had options, they're ready to move on from that. Or they're kind of like getting clarity here with the Six of Swords. They're either getting clarity to be able to move on. Um, or they have clarity and now things are going to get better. Or they definitely had options here. What does this have to do with my collective? They're returning to you. They miss you. This is definitely an ex. Yeah, they want to reunite with you. They're trying to see this is what I okay, confirmation. This is what I saw when I was shuffling. This card says it's the strength card, Leo energy, but it says taming emotions and overcoming obstacles. They're trying to overcome the obstacles that have been keeping them from being able to return to you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess. You guys can feel this person coming towards you, wanting a new opportunity. What about the High Priestess and the Page of Pentacles? You also have Pisces energy, the rejection. What about rejection? Nine of Cups. The lovers and frozen. Hard to let go. Resisting change. This person knew that you were their wish come true. But I think that. What did they do here? Yeah, they couldn't make up their mind. Yeah. Page of Swords. They had to gain more um, clarity or they had to learn some lessons here. Six of Wands. The ten. They've been No, this person's been watching you be successful. They could be going through some type of painful ending when it comes to, um, there could be children involved. What is important for my collective to know about this person? So I see that somebody is wanting to have a new beginning in love with you. They've gotten some type of clarity. They're reevaluating things. They're, they're actually viewing you very highly. Okay. Like they're, they're it's kind of like giving me like they're giving the energy that they put you on a pedestal. But they definitely don't want to lose you. What is important for them to know here? So we have the King of Pentacles. I did say the King of Pentacles earlier. Definitely, like I said, it could be a Taurus you're dealing with. We have Loyal, Secure, Taking Love Seriously. Okay, so, and we have the Star. So if you guys were hoping and wishing, praying for this person to, like, start, like, actually taking you and this connection seriously and to, like, really commit to you and really be in this as much as you were in it, I feel like you are going to be getting that. Okay, tell me more. <coughs> <clears throat> tell me about sorry guys tell me about the queen of swords forbidden there's somebody that's trying to keep this there's an air sign around this person that possibly a feminine that doesn't want the two of you together tell me about the queen of swords and the forbidden unawakened what about unawakened chariot and cold as ice giving you mixed signals who is this Queen of Swords? Or maybe, oh, see, karmic partner. So they had somebody else here. <coughs> it doesn't have to be a romantic person, like a romantic interest. It could have been like, because it says codependency. It's somebody that's toxic, just as toxic as them, if not more toxic. Yeah, so it's a, it's a karmic. What about this Queen of Swords, karmic partner? Death, they're ending something with that person. Yeah, Scorpio energy, nine of cups. Yeah, so that they can, yeah, sexual encounter. What? Nine of cups, sexual encounter? Seven of cups? Uh-oh. What about death? The moon, the wheel of fortune, and mirroring. This person has been, whoever this person is, your, your counterpart, they've been shown something about themselves. They've been taking a look in the mirror. Um... Hmm. What is this? The Nine of Cups? What about Sexual Encounter? Two of Pentacles? And the Two of Cups? <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. My throat. The 
It's something like my throat chakra is messed up. Because I was not coughing before I got started doing this reading. Um, somebody may not want me to relay this message to you. What does this have to do with you? Hanged Man and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, their perspective has changed. I think this person was trying to have... They want to try this again with you. I think at some point they they decided to kind of like let this go or they were trying to just keep it strictly sexual between the two of you but now like they, they came to some type of decision or conclusion that it was best to like either just kind of leave this alone or or y'all could just have like a, a strictly sexual type connection like and then not go any deeper than that at the at this time but I think that you guys possibly set some boundaries with this person and I think that you didn't allow that. Now it's like they want another opportunity to kind of try to come in and build something with you. Like and not just be strictly sexual. Why is that now? What is what is this clear what is this clarity that they're getting and what is triggering this? The Eight of Wands, yes. And then the Knight of Pentacles. What about it? The money focus. This person has a lot of passion for you and they have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. I do think, do think that they want to speak to you, but I think they've been taking their time with coming back towards you because they've been very focused on finances. Tell me more. Queen of Pentacles. How about Queen of Pentacles? The lessons. Separation is necessary. Learning divine lessons. So, yeah, I told you they had lower lessons that they needed to learn. And now what? We have the Four of Cups. What about Four of Cups? I feel like um, King of Cups. What about the King of Cups? The Seven of Cups. I don't like that. Wheel of Fortune. What's changing? The Two of Cups. It's like it's going from this person not knowing who they had love and emotion for to them knowing exactly who they have love and emotion for and who they want to come into a relationship with. And that's you. I do, for some reason, feel like this person's been trying to hesitate coming towards you. Why? They're, they've, been, they've been trying to hold back. Yeah, exactly. Hiding feelings. Feeling insecure, fear of vulnerability. So that's why. Anything else? But we have Knight of Swords here. Sudden action, arrival, being swept off your feet. Um, so they could be coming in quite suddenly to speak to you. Seven of Wands to so maybe come in and try to fight for you. Let's see. Seven of Wands. Why is the five of... Yeah, they're coming, kind of coming towards you like wind at all cost type energy to to have a new beginning with you four of wands the four of swords they're rushing in towards you i think you guys are going to be guarded towards this person they play too many games what is this person's intentions the five of wands to fight i feel like they come, they're coming in to see death what about death they're trying to end something that they're they feel trapped in what's this to do with you what are their intentions for you the forbidden they really don't feel like they can have anything with you right now so yeah they don't feel they have enough so why are they coming towards you the devil because they can't stay away from you any longer yeah they have a destructive habit of coming towards you and they know that they can't give you you know what you really deserve and need right now but they are coming toward you they're still stuck in something I do think that they think that they are going to walk away from it or they are in the process of walking away from it. But there's a lot of conflict over there. There's a lot of big, like a lot of chaos and conflict going on wherever they're at. And um, I just feel like this person does not have the ability to be on the same page as you at this time. They, they kind of feel like they and they kind of feel like they don't have any way out of where they're at right now. So they're just coming towards you because they're obsessing over you and they feel like they can't stay away from you any longer. What about the nine of wands? Where'd that card just go? The sex seed, this person wants to um, sleep. Do, is that all they want is to sleep with them? The tower. They're about to get karma served to them. With judgment here, Scorpio energy and the tower. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person is about to really get the consequences of their actions. <laughs> because I do feel like they, they are fiending for you. That's crazy. They do love you. I feel like they're trying to suppress that though. They're trying to suppress the love. The 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 passion is very present. And I do think that they are hoping hoping to have a sexual encounter with you. Um
I think you guys are going to be guarded towards this, though. Yeah, three because they hurt you. Yeah, they put you in a third party situation. Strength. Yeah, this person needs to leave. If they are not happy where they're at, they need to leave that situation instead of trying to juggle. Yeah, they need to close out a cycle. Like, the reason why they keep... They're running from, like, these changes that they would need to make to be with you completely. It's like they keep settling for having, like, you have, like, half having you. Then having, like, to be, like, be being in a full-blown relationship with you because they don't want to make those difficult changes on their end to be able to give you that full-blown commitment. They are, for some reason, cool with just hooking up with you and, and, and just being like that. Like, okay, let's hook up. Let's have a little casual fling. Okay, I can come back over here. Like, they, in a nutshell, they want to, they, they wanted to keep juggling both situations, which is crazy. All because they can't get over themselves with this ego energy, that ego energy that keeps coming out. Fears, ego, insecurities, them not knowing. Like they're, they're trying to prevent a tower moment from happening. They're going to end up getting a tower either way, though. It's going to be a tower moment for them if you reject them. And it's also going to be a tower moment when they probably walk away from this other person. So which one? They're going to have to decide which tower moment. Because they, they can't escape this karma. They can't escape the consequences of their actions any longer. So they're going to have to choose one. And either one... And, and both of them come with consequences. So they can choose to be with you, but there is going to be some consequences for them doing that. And then if they choose to stay where they're at, or if they choose to leave you, leave this person and be with you, there's going to be consequences. If they choose to stay where they're at and not be with you, there's going to be consequences too. Because this person has some karma that's due to them. And they've been avoiding it by trying to ride both sides. But they don't understand that the longer they ride both sides, the more karma they're racking up. Because the the longer they just say if they, they ultimately choose to be with you, right? They ultimately choose to be with you in the end. But now you resent the hell out of them and you don't have any trust for them. And now they're going to have to work 10 times harder to even get you back or they may not be able to get you back. So that's that could be their karma. If they choose to stay with this other person, they're gonna they're choosing to be unhappy. They're gonna lose the love of their life. Like it's consequences either way, and they're gonna be stuck in turmoil in this because that situation is tumultuous. It's like there's no running. Like there's no more running. You gotta pick us either which one is worse. You you got karma that's due to you. You better hurt take it, take it like a man or a woman, because you you reap this karma. I don't know. This is just Mm -hmm. um let's get some oracle cards i didn't mean why do i keep putting away the whole deck i don't know why i keep doing that they've been dodging their karma like they've been do dodging taking accountability for some things It's like they can't run from the karma any longer. It's time. Time to time to reap your karma. We have desensitized. Yeah, they've been just trying to like numb themselves. Emotional de emotionally detached due to the fear of unwanted behaviors, feeling numb and suppressing feelings through either drugs, alcohol, or some other addictive behavior. We have self-love. I've been working on my self-worth. And I'm recognizing the issues that have been holding me back. I'm trying to heal myself by loving myself first. We have twin flame. We have purpose to live life separately, learning lessons. Possible reunion after becoming stronger and awakened. Single soul split in half before reincarnating into two separate bodies. We have time is ticking. I am trying to be patient. I want you to return and I want to return to you. But being apart from you feels like an eternity. Yeah, it's hard for them to be away from you. So if you hear from this person prematurely, it's because they felt like they couldn't stay away from you any longer. Yeah, forgiveness. I'm seeking your forgiveness even if I can't utter the words. I'm trying to also forgive myself for treating you unfairly, but I'm hoping I can quiet my guilt. Remember my throat was acting up? We have, I'm sick of this card coming out. Gluttonous gossip, unable to control 
and has an overwhelming need to share false or misleading info, overindulging and overconsumption of personal narratives that may or may not be true. We have Pisces. And we have reinvention. So this person feels like they're running out of time to change themselves, like to get themselves together to become what you deserve and what you you require, you know, to have, you know what you require of them. And um, yeah, I am trying to reinvent myself and release the old me. I took you for granted, disappointed you, and deserted you when you needed me the most. I want to come back stronger so I can build something better with you. But they feel like they're running out of time. They feel like you're like, at this point, we're about to just throw in the towel. We have Leo energy and we have regret. Afraid they made the wrong decision. Feels troubled or remorseful of what has happened. Seeing you happy while they are miserable and can't move on. I said that earlier. They're seeing you kind of, they're seeing you be successful and happy and doing well for yourself. Spying on you. My obsessive thinking got the best of me. I allowed my emotions and others to control and dictate my actions towards our connection. I finally understand I need to trust my intuition. Mm, see, look at this. What did I say? Tower moments. Changes. They may end up having two tower moments. One with you and one in another situation. Changes that are difficult but necessary for growth. Moments in life that pushes us to be better and do better because we deserve better. Yeah, trying to push somebody towards their destiny. You were destined to meet stronger, strong, unbreakable bond, passionate love, and strong desire, deep inner knowing of divine connection. March 20th through May 5th. So this is coming up. Yep. I'm working on my divine masculine side. I need to be more assertive, confident, and speak up for myself. I can no longer buy out of things and situations when, my, when I become fearful, but fight for what I love and that is you. So I forget who had a reading like this a few days ago. This person knows that with you, they are happy. When I'm with you, I feel complete. I feel as if I won the best prize of all. You're exactly what I need and want in my life. They're going to try to come towards you this spring. And it looks like it's the first half of spring. And they're going to be coming in to try to be like, they're going to speak up. I think they're having a hard time speaking up right now. But I do feel like soon they will be coming in to be more assertive and speak up for and speak up and say something to you. I think that they're going to be coming in to fight for you. They do have a lot more clarity when it comes to you than they did before. Um, but we do have settling here. They're not happy where they're at. Yeah unsatisfied and feels alone while with someone your wants needs and desires are bring, being chronically unmet accepting less than what you deserve and that doesn't exactly sit right with you so are they going to continue to settle or are they leaving let's do one more card and then i'm going to take it to the extended reading so are they going to continue to settle or what they're coming towards you to fight for you but see no they're gonna they're still attached to that other person I am connected to my karmic partner due to responsibilities. I want to face my issues head on and work through things before I return. I know it's not easy, but I'm trying my best. I do really think this person has been trying to stay away from you, but I don't know. I think they're going to cave and they're going to reach out to you. Yeah. And it says, I don't understand our connection the way I feel when I'm with you. I'm not ready for whatever this is. I can't handle this right now. I'd rather not think about it. They're just not ready, guys. Like They're not ready to um, ex accept your nurturing and your understanding, compassionate nature, your healing energy. So I would be aware of this person because once it starts getting intense for them, they are a runner. I think that they will run again. Uh, so I would be, I definitely feel like this is one of those situations where you're going to have to reject this person because... You allowing them to come in and out whenever they want to, like for these little flings. And I'm not saying that I'm sure this person is being manipulative because we just had that charismatic Casanova card that came out, right? This person is manipulative and they know how to talk and they know how to tell you what you want to hear. And it's going to be important for you to use discernment and listen to your intuition when dealing with this person so that you do not get taken advantage of and you don't get played. This person's intentions aren't horrible, but it is not cool, that this person is no knowing what you want, promising you that they're going to give that to you to some degree or that you guys can work towards that when they know that they're still with somebody else and they're, I don't know, they're just, they're not even trying to get themselves out of this other situation. They just know that you are their happiness. They know that you're the one that they want to be with, but I feel like they're not doing the necessary work. So, and, and they're not leaving that person. They're not leaving that situation. Hmm. All right, so I will, um, I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. The link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings.
Private reading information can also be found in the description box. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.